happy wednesday to my lovely viewers this is a girl marceline here again with another amazing video in today's video we're gonna be making some soft fluffy and when i tell you delicious sweet potato dinner rolls this one is for you for your thanksgiving table or if you're not celebrating thanksgiving that's fine you can make this as something different for your family all right so thank you for stopping by first thing i'm going to do is peel and boil my potatoes I already have the water boiling. I'm just gonna cut it up and add it to my boiling water and we're not gonna add any salt in there. Going to boil. So now that my potatoes are fully cooked, I am going to put them in my blender and I'm going to puree them. So in my cup, I have one cup of whole milk. I will be using half of that to puree the potatoes and for the remaining half, we're going to set that aside because we will be using that to mix our dough. Yes, you could simply mash the potatoes, but the reason I'm pureeing the potatoes is because if you know these sweet potatoes, they carry a lot of strings and you don't want any strings in your dinner rolls. So we're going to go ahead and puree it until it is smooth. All right. For the flour, I will be using bread flour as usual. It doesn't matter the brand, but if you don't have any bread flour, you can use all-purpose flour. I've used it to make my dinner rolls several times and it's fine, all right? So I'm going to use half cup of sugar and one and a half teaspoon of salt. You don't want to pour the yeast on top of the salt, so ensure that you incorporate the salt into the flour. And then for the yeast mixture, we're using the remaining half cup of milk, making sure that it is warm and not hot and not cold. I use one packet of yeast and an extra half teaspoon. We're going to mix that up, cover it and set it aside. In about five minutes, you will see it becomes very foamy and then you'll know that your yeast is activated. Now for the sweet potatoes, I'm adding one cup first. I'm also going to add one egg. Next, I will add my yeast mixture and I'm going to pour it out so that everything is out of the container make sure you use a spoon to scrape it out all right next i'm going to add half of my flour mixture and i'm usually i will just pour everything into my mixer and mix it because i already have several dinner roll recipes but i am just creating this sweet potato recipe so i will know the amount of sweet potato to add and when i say that i created it it doesn't mean that it never existed i mean that i i'm putting the recipe together my personal recipe i thought i was coming up with the idea but when i googled it it was already existed so i am creating this personal one for you so that you can have the perfect amount of ingredients to make your dinner rolls and if you don't want to make this much you can cut mine in half or if you want to make more you can double it so i've added an extra half cup of sweet potato and then i have half stick of butter I added half of that and as soon as my dough is firm i add the remaining half so we're going to continue mixing for another eight to ten minutes if you are kneading with your hands you can knead it for about five minutes now that it's done you can see how soft the dough is you can tell from this point that you're going to have some really soft dinner rolls so now we're going to scrape out our dough into this greased bowl i'm using a tablespoon of vegetable oil you can use olive oil whichever oil that you normally cook with that's fine making sure that the dough is greased on all sides so that when you're ready to remove it from the container it is easy to be removed all right and it doesn't stick to whatever you're going to use to cover it so i'm going to be using film wrap to cover it and then i will use a kitchen towel because you want to make sure that the dough remains warm because the yeast does not like anything cold so i was using my oven earlier it's not hot but it's still warm so that's where i'm gonna place it or if your oven is already on you can put it on top of the oven somewhere warm because right now it's cold outside and you want to find the warmest place if it's even in your microwave just put it in there and let it remain there for one hour all right after one hour you're gonna see that the dough has doubled in size you can use your fist to punch it or just use your fingers to pierce it all around so that you can release the air bubbles that was created from the yeast 
or you can just give it another minute of kneading whichever one works all right so we're gonna prepare our area if you have like a silicone mat or whatever you want to use for your dough i'm going to be using my counter i'm going to go ahead and make sure that my counter is clean and ready to receive my dough and we're going to cut them up as usual i don't always have the perfect size like they're all they're all not going to be the same size but i try to cut them in the same size so dust your area with some flour not too much just enough to make your dough manageable adding too much flour is going to change the texture of your dough and you don't want that you want it to remain soft but manageable so now you're going to try and cut them in even size and bearing in mind that we're gonna set them aside to double again for about 30 minutes so don't cut them too big otherwise you're gonna have some really big dinner rolls so whatever size dinner roll that you want go ahead and cut them half of the size because they will double in size before baking so whatever is easier for you you can go ahead and just shape your dough i usually just pretend that i'm making dumpling and pinch aside and tuck that's what I work with or sometimes I do place it on my counter and use my hands to shape it into like a little round ball also before you start this process make sure that you have your baking pan ready you can line it with some parchment paper or you can just grease it with some butter whichever one works for you so I cover them for another 30 minutes after the first 20 minutes I set my oven to preheat at 350 degrees and they have doubled in size and they are ready to go in the oven but before we place them in the oven i am going to add some melted butter and if you don't want to use any butter you can just use an egg wash but for me dinner roll is supposed to be buttery and nice all right so i am going to add the butter and mine took 18 minutes to bake depending on how brown you want them mine took 18 minutes but you can take them out at 15 minutes if you don't want them as brown as mine all right and remember it's 350 degrees so they're out of the oven and i'm just brushing on some more of the butter and i'm also going to be showing you how soft these are and when i say soft they are very soft and they are so so good my neighbor um texted me and told me that these were like the best dinner rolls she has ever had so make sure you go ahead and try this out this Thanksgiving, place them on your table, give your guests something new, something different, and I promise you they are going to thank you. They're going to enjoy it, alright? I also made um, some more videos that I will be posting soon. I have this delicious herb roasted chicken to place on your Thanksgiving table, so stay tuned for that. I will be uploading that tomorrow. Alright, thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your week.